Hello ladies and gents, welcome to today's video. This is your favorite guitar nerd, Marcos Aguirre, and in today's video I'm going to do something very cool for you guys. I'm going to review and sound demo this really cool product. This is an EMG Alexi Laiho Signature Series pickup. This is a very unique uh, product which is different from other EMGs and I should say other pickups in that this product comes with a gain boost which gives you an additional 10 decibels of gain which you can adjust as well as a three band EQ. Both of these you can adjust using a little screwdriver, but I, like many other guitarists, don't like EMG pickups. This is definitely the exception. If you want versatility when it comes to tone and gain, this is definitely the product to get or to upgrade your guitar to. And as a little bonus for you guys, I'm gonna compare this to its fancier counterpart, the ESP MM04 Gain Boost, so stay tuned for that if you like. If you want to skip straight into the tone test, feel free to do so. I'll put timestamps on this video. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. When you buy this product, you get a nice little package with a picture of Alexi. There are two variations of what the package might look like, so I'll show both on screen for you guys. When you open these up, you get the pickup, the quick connect solderless wiring system, installation instructions, an EMG sticker, and a cool COB wristband. These are the tonal options you can get with this EQ and Alexi's preference is pointed out as well as that's a preset that comes right out of the box. The installation instructions come in different languages and you'll be pleasantly surprised to find that they show additional instructions of how you can wire this pickup with uh, an additional neck pickup or if your guitar is not an Alexi type guitar. This is what everything looks like when installed. To adjust the gain on the boost you have to use a small screwdriver to turn the dial that's there. You can get up to, I believe, 10 decibels of gain when the dial is on max and zero gain when the dial is at its lowest position. To adjust the EQ, you have to use a small screwdriver or your fingernails, if they're long enough, to flip the switches that are there. The pickup itself is not active, but the gain boost and EQ do require a nine volt battery. The gain boost and EQ are always on, but can be deactivated by pulling the push-pull pot that come with the system which serves as the main volume slash tone knob or the main volume knob if you install this on a guitar with multiple knob controls. So by comparison, this is what the MM04 Gain Boost looks like. It's similar but not identical. This gives you a little more control in that the EQ has an extra uh, switch so you can adjust both the high and low mid frequencies. Most of the guitars that have these MM04 Gain Boosts come with them installed out of the factory. So for example, this guitar did, and the design of the guitar had the gain boost in mind, which is why this guitar has a cavity for the battery, as well as it's got a switch that turns the gain boost on and off, an external switch, so it doesn't have that push-pull control that the EMG uh, boost does. In a minute, we'll get into the sound demo, and afterwards I'll tell you guys about some problems I've had with this product in the past, as well as some more of the differences between this and the MM04 gain boost. For the sound demo, I'll be repurposing a clip from the Alexi LTD guitar review video for which the EQ settings are that of Alexi's, as well as the gain is on 80% on the dial. Oh, my God. 
the pickup itself doesn't sound too much different from a regular EMG H2. With the gain boost and EQ, it sounds great. Not only that, but this product makes shitty amps sound better and more faithful to the tone of Alexi Laiho. For the best results using this setup, or this product I should say, turn the boost up a decent amount and the gain down on your amp and you'll get a more punchy mid-range Alexi Laiho style tone that comes primarily from your guitar. I also like how everything came with this product and how thorough and extra EMG was with this. In terms of design, the main differences between this EMG gain boost and the ESP MM04 gain boost is that the EMG is easier to install and more cleverly designed so you don't have to change too much about your guitar if you're installing this. For example, the MM04 gain boost needing an outside switch to turn it on and off leads to you having to drill extra holes in your guitar to to place that switch unless the guitar already comes with it where the EMG just has that push-pull pot. In terms of sound they are almost identical but for some reason they work differently with different setups. In the future I'll make a video where I compare these two gain boosts to the Jackson JE1000 gain boost which served as the main inspiration for these gain boosts. I do have to mention some problems that I've had with this product in the past. The first is that it can be easy to rub your picking hand against the volume slash tone knob and deactivate the gain boost when you're playing an Alexi style guitar. This has more to do with the guitar knob configuration on the guitar body, so I'm not taking points off for that, but I thought you guys should know. Second, and most importantly, I've had issues in the past where the whole pickup system stops working. The LTD guitar I used for the sound demo of this video had this issue a couple of times. All it took to fix it was disconnecting and reconnecting the quick connect system, but it was very tedious. Last and most infuriating, I had this happen to me on stage once with my LTD Blackie guitar, and that system never worked again. It's also worth noting that none of Alexi's stage guitars had the EMG gain boost. Even the picture that's on the box here, that has an MMO4 gain boost, that guitar, so I think it's a little bit ironic and it's possible that Alexi came across this issue that I did and decided just to stick to the ESP MM04 gain boosts because they're a lot more reliable. So final thoughts, I give this product an 8 out of 10. It's awesome when it works and it being not 100% reliable is the only complaint I have about it. Also, with the new Alexi LTDs costing a ton of money as opposed to a few years ago, don't you guys think that this product should come installed in them? I don't know, just a thought. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have questions, comments, or concerns regarding this product, leave them in the comment section. Besides that, you guys stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.